Melissa. Happy uh, Thursday. I hope you are all having a great week. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put HTV on wood, why you would want to, would want to, um, and what, uh, is the best, what are the best tools to do that. So you can see I have a couple of heat presses out here. I also have my, um, easy press and I'm going to show you my easy press mini. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. So before we <clears throat> get started into how to actually do that, I want to show you a, an example of why you might want to do that. Okay. So many, many people find working with HTV, specifically cutting and weeding it, um, to be much easier than adhesive vinyl. Okay. So for example, I want you to look at this design that I have right here. Okay. Look at the size. Can you see the size of these little um, snowflakes that are on here? I mean, in relation to my finger, these things are tiny. And this other snowflake has such detail. This would be very, very challenging to cut cleanly with um, adhesive vinyl, just because of the way that it peels, it can peel up in very small areas. HTV makes this a lot easier. Same thing with weeding. When you're weeding, you have a more, a high, a higher likelihood of pulling up these very small designs off of the carrier sheet when you're reading HTV than you, excuse me, vinyl than you would with HTV. So for that reason, I choose um, HTV over vinyl for um, the size. Also, when you have a project that you're putting on wood, HTV on wood, especially wood that's textured, like these wood chips here, wood slices, they are a bit textured. It can be very difficult um, to get vinyl to stick well to it, especially when you have small items like this and the area of the adhesive is so small. So for that reason, again, I pick HTV. You could paint, some people wanna paint a stencil. The problem that you have here is that we are using a patterned vinyl, so unless you just want a single color, um, again, HTV ends up being um, a really good option. Now, why do I have two heat presses out here? I actually have a couple of different things that we're gonna put vinyl on, HTV on. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have <clears throat> these wood blanks. These are obviously very, very thin. I have these wood chips, and then I also have this small wood canvas, okay? This is probably about three quarters of an inch thick or so. Now, the reason that I have my um, eight and one swing away press and my a clamshell is because I wanna show you the difference. So the clamshell, a clamshell obviously has a hinge here. Now, this is not going to be a problem really if you're using something that's so thin like this. It will still close completely down. I don't have this plugged in, just so you know. But where it does become a problem is when you have something that's kind of thick like this, and what happens is because of the clamp, you can see, hopefully you can see, that the back of my heat press is hitting the wood piece before it, the front part because it's just higher. That's part of you know the hinge. So what that results in is that you're not gonna get even pressure, okay? So, and you're also not gonna be able to lock this down. However, however, with a swing away heat press where the entire top platen goes down at the same time as opposed to a hinge, you are able to get a um, even press on this. Now this is plugged in, but I don't have HTV, but I wanna show you. So even though when you press this down, you end up with this gap between the top and the bottom platen, that gap is the same all the way across your entire heat press, okay? So you can set the pressure before you start based on the thickness of your item and um, still get good pressure even on pretty thick items, okay? All right, so we also, as I said, have the easy press. Easy press is a really great option if you're just doing one or two and you wanna just do it fast. It warms up really quickly. It's very, very easy to do. Um, are you guys saying I don't have sound? Don't tell me I don't have sound. Please don't tell me I don't have sound. Um, can anybody else hear me? Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. I first did this Facebook Live on my personal Facebook page and like three of my mom's friends were watching. <laughs> So now I'm redoing it because I'm like, well, my actual like silhouette school friends haven't seen it. Okay. So anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to take, can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear? Cause I don't really know. Bob, are you able to check? Okay. Some other people are checking. If you can't hear, make sure the volume's up on your Facebook player. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you guys. Okay. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to show you the easy press. 
Um, again, if you just have one or two that you're doing, think, think, thanks. Um, this is a really good option to do. Okay, so let's let's see. We'll take one of these. I've already cut these. Obviously, I already cut the HTV. I've cut them all apart. And <coughs> excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. Don't worry. I I've been tested three times for COVID. I don't have COVID, so just I. But I do have like a frog in my throat. <coughs> um. So we have this here. I'm gonna use my easy press. And I am just going to press down on this and apply it. Now, this HTV is requires 20 seconds of pretty medium to high pressure. Pretty medium to high. But what it, the most important part is that it requires a cold peel. So if you do this and you try to peel this right away, you're not gonna have very good luck, okay? You need to wait until it cools down completely before you peel it, okay? Because as you can see, if I peel this right now while it's still hot, it's coming up with it, okay? So let's just wait till that cools down. Now, if I am making a whole set of those and I have to do that for every single one, that's gonna take me quite a bit of time. However, if I use my heat press, my um this eight and one heat press i can do a whole bunch in bulk so watch first thing i'm gonna do put my item on here okay and then i need to adjust the pressure i don't have the htv on there yet all right so first thing i'm gonna put this on here and just see am i getting good pressure it seems like i can increase the pressure a little bit all right so you're gonna turn the pressure knob okay so that's pretty good now i'm just gonna take a whole bunch of these and place them, I can swing this away. I'm gonna place these all on my press at the same time. Okay, so I've got four of them. Try to keep it in the middle as much as you can just because you get the best um, heat and pressure there. Okay, and I'm just gonna place these down. Now some of these I had kind of a little bit of a miscut, but I'm just doing this mostly so that you can see how quickly these can come together. Okay, so we've got all these on here. All right, and now I am actually gonna cover this with my, um, with my Teflon sheet. The other reason I like using the heat press is because I know that I have good pressure and I know that it's been 20 seconds. It's difficult to do that with the um, easy press. Okay, now while we're waiting for that, this is cool, so let's see if this peels off. Okay, oh, I'm still having a little bit of area, a few areas. Yeah, okay, here we go. Have a couple little areas there that might need a little bit more pressure, so let's try that. This is like being in the kitchen. So many things going. Okay, so we need cold peel, so I'm just gonna move these to the side, let them cool down, all right? And then while we're waiting for those, I'm gonna put these. Now these are a little bit thicker, as you can see. So I'm going to want to make, see if I need to adjust the pressure on my heat press. I wanna make sure I can press my press down, and I can. Okay, again, same thing. I have a bunch of these little wood slices. Now these have pre-drilled holes in them, and so just make sure that your design is correctly oriented, all right? Again, this is a great way to do this. A heat press makes doing this in bulk super fast and easy because you can just do them, press them all at once. As Again, as much as I love my easy press, um, the mini, I'm only able to do one at a time, all right? Get my Teflon sheet. Now, I wouldn't want to mix doing the wood slices and these wooden ornaments at the same time because since those wood slices are thicker, it would prevent me from getting a good pressure on this, okay? So only press the same type of material at the same time, okay? This is still a little bit hot. This is the one that we did with the easy press, so let's pull that off of there, okay? So again, works fine for the easy press. If you're only doing one, totally fine. Um, but if you want to do a bunch at the same time, the heat press is um, really your best option. Okay, so while those are done, now we're going to pull these off, okay? And, I mean, look how fast we did. 
right? We did all of these at once, and in a matter of literally 20 seconds, I was able to make all of them. Now, what I should point out, if you're looking for these designs, they are from the Christmas in July bundle. Um, they're all different from So Fancy, which expires tomorrow. I'll throw the link up for that in a minute. Um, this one got a little bit mixed, messed up, okay? Um, but what you can see, and this was just a miss, a miscut. But the point here is that we have, we have the ability to do this very fast. Now let's see, these are still warm, so don't rush this because you want to make sure that they completely cool so you get the best stick. Now remember, if it's not like ingrained into the wood like you're looking for when it's on um, a shirt, I wouldn't worry too much about it to be quite honest with you because you're not gonna be handling these, right? Like, it's not gonna be going through the laundry. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be um, really handled a whole lot. Once you're done with it, you're just gonna, what, hang it on a tree? Okay, so really, really cute. I love, <coughs> excuse me, this idea for little, um, like, gift tags, right? Like, you could use these and put them at, put the, um, you know, ribbon or yarn or jute or whatever through and ta add them to a gift, okay? And then it makes a really cute tag or um, a gift bag or wine bag, right? Okay, so I'm just carefully pulling those off of there. And again, we did these all at the same time. So it's, this one's still hot. So I have to wait a couple more, I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes for those to cool, but hopefully that answers your question on where to, where and how and why you might wanna use heat transfer vinyl with the heat press that um, is ideal. So volume, um, the size of the design itself, if you're doing a whole, you, again, if you're doing a, you know, a bulk volume of them, all of that can be done in very, very quickly um, when you are using a heat press, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. I'll throw links up. Um, I think the 8-in-1 heat press is out of stock right now, but I'll check um, on that. I'll throw the link up for the Christmas in July bundle. Like I said, all the designs that I used here are from that um, bundle, and um, the, it expires tomorrow. So if you want to get it, well, I think it's 87% off at So Fancy. Make sure you um, grab that, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. I'll see ya.